this video is a really important one in your C3 paper. Um, there's a very, very high chance you're going to get a method on a uh, question on titration. Whether that's about the method or whether that's calculation in question, um, I don't know. But in the, there's a very high chance there's going to be a question on titration. So this is the writing part. This is going to be, um, for an example, six mark question. So hopefully you're familiar with how to do um, a titration. If you haven't, I've made a video um, walking you through it. We have our conical flask down here. With um, here, I've put the acid in here, but it really um, doesn't matter whether you put the acid in the conical flask or in the burette, or whether it was the al um, alkalis in the conical flask read the question carefully and then follow the guidance in the question. If they say um, the acid of the conical flask or the burette, write that in your answer. You're going to need to put an indicator in your conical flask so you can see a colour change. You're going to need a white tile underneath so you can see that colour change easily. You're going to need a burette with um, either your acid or your alkali in and you're going to need to be able to read a um, uh, the uh, burette. So you need to bend your knees, you need to get down so your eye level is here with the um, bottom of the meniscus and with a burette, with any piece of equipment, you need to be able to read it to the most um, the, the highest resolution that we can. So we can see here that this is in between 10 and 11 so we just start off saying 10 and then we have 1 two, three, four, and then it's in between four and five here, so we can say that is 10.45 centimetres cubed. It's really, really important how you read your um, burette, and always make sure you write your numbers to the highest resolution possible. So the other thing you need to do is to have a table where you're going to have to record your start title, your end, and then your overall title. So this is my um, example six mark answer. Um, this is taken from a number of different mark schemes. So you can see that there are um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points here. Um, again, this is collated from a number of different mark schemes. So some mark schemes may have this on, some mark schemes may um, not have all of these bits on, but I've marked so many of these that uh, if you write this down, it will cover all the mark schemes that I've ever seen. So using a pipette, now this is really important, um, the, the um, spelling of these words, uh, pipette and burette down here, is really important because it could count towards your quality of written communication mark. And again, put 20 centimetre to cube of acid. If they say put alkali to conical flask in the question, Write that in your answer. Um, if you make a silly mistake like that, you're telling the examiner that you're careless, um, that you're not taking enough um, attention in writing the exam. That's the sort of thing that will lose you silly marks. With a suitable indicator. It may ask you to name the indicator, it may not. Place a colour flask on a white tile so that the colour change can be seen. This seems like a little thing, but it's really, really important. Read the level of the burette at the bottom of the meniscus. Now, you might just think read the level of the burette is enough, but at the bottom of the meniscus, tells the examiner that you know exactly what you're talking about. Slowly add the alkali or the acid, drop by drop, swirling as you go. Stop when the first permanent colour change is seen. This is really important and take a reading. Repeat until we have concordant results. Concordance just a fancy word for saying the same results. So there are two um, indicators that we commonly use, phenolphalin and methyl orange. Phenolphalin is the one um, that we most commonly use at GCSE. It's the one that I like because it has this nice pink colour. Um, and you don't have to know these, but if you're going to be aiming for the top grades, if you want to do any of chemistry, it's not a bad idea to learn these. So phenolphalin acid is clear and alkali is pink. Methyl orange is the other one. You may or may not have come across this. In acid, it's orange and in alkali, it's yellow. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests, down below please.